what the local residents know that you don't and that you need to know here on Nichols Retirement Empire. Okay, this is White Oak Park. It's only about two miles from my house. It's maintained by Pauling County. You can see there's some guys out there flying some airplanes. It's a Thursday morning. Like I said, first day of my retirement. This is an absolutely beautiful park. It's very well maintained. Now it stays pretty busy. Uh, you can see it's Thursday morning and there's you know cars here there's several different places to park it's got a walking trail I'm gonna walk along the trail it's got three ponds I'll show you those and uh, you got the airplane entertainment going on over there I'll see what kind of view I get of that on the other side of this walking trail but this is a beautiful park and uh, the county did very well with this and it's got these little stations you know like if you want to do some exercise it's got along the trail little places to stop and it shows you what to do and how to stretch and all that kind of thing another thing that's nice is it doesn't have like an asphalt or a concrete path it's got this nice soft path if you like to run or walk the other thing that's great about this park are the views you know here's kind of a panoramic view off the walking trail here Almost everywhere you go in here, there's something pretty to look at. And it has a few interesting little areas. Yeah, you know, like this one. Just right off the trail. You got some water down here. Almost like a wetland looking kind of area. There is a creek here. I'll show you the creek here in a second. But it's just nice to have a little spot like this where you can kind of ease over here and look and see what's up. Right now, nothing. But it's pretty to look at. Now, if you're a walker or a runner, most of this part is not really shaded. So if you're looking for shade, the Silver Comet Trail might be more for you. Or you're going to have to come in the morning or the evening. But it is not really, uh, it's not mainly a shaded trail. I don't know if you can see these airplanes, but this is pretty cool. These guys are doing like flips and stuff with these things. Barrel rolls or whatever they call them. There's one going in for a landing. You probably can't see that. It's cool. Whoa. Okay, I've continued along the trail. When you get down to this part, there are uh, some nice views. There's a creek here. I'll show you that when I get down there. There's a little hilly section over here on this side and a playground. If you are interested in getting down in the water and playing in the creek, you may want to be careful. We have fanged caution snakes. see any snakes ah. <laughs> they do let you bring your dogs of course I'm sure you have to keep them on a leash so that's pretty cool I just saw a guy a while ago with his dog and this is a pretty popular little spot you got a lot of uh, picnic tables uh, there's a volleyball thing I've never seen anybody playing volleyball but there's one over there uh, and then there's a little playground like I said this is the other out of the playground and there's shade and stuff down here uh, this part right here gets a little you know it'll get a little crowded but it's nice 
And if that lawnmower wasn't running, you'd be able to hear this a little better, but you have a little running area of the creek here. And this is a nice shaded area. I like this over here. It's usually pretty quiet. You got those picnic tables. A little filled up through there and right up on top of this hill. Uh, this is runoff from a, it's not really runoff, but it's uh, comes from the dam. There's a, a nice little pond up there. I'll walk up there and show you that. That's my favorite part of the park up there. Now right here is their big pond. Pretty view of that up here on the hill. Now, this is the only bad thing about a little crowded area like this, but it's part of it. You can see all the fishing line hanging from the tree up there. And it's hard to keep the pond clean. You got people drinking water and throwing stuff down here in the water. But they try to keep it clean. They really do do a good job trying to maintain it. And you can see there's some little I don't know if you can see this with this camera. There's some little brim and stuff in the water. There's people fish here. I'm going to come up here and fish a little bit. See what happens. But they have this little walk trail, you know, like right here. They didn't have this when they first opened it. But you can kind of walk along the waterway here. A few ducks over there, of course. Here's a fisherman. Right here, a few brim in the water there. Now up here next to the pond, you have a couple of pavilions, and uh, I believe you can reserve these. I think. Now these may be first come first serve, but there is one I know that you can reserve. Nice parking area. And here's a view of the big pond from the pavilions. Also, they have uh, frisbee golf. They have a nice little frisbee golf course here. I've seen people out here playing. You can see this is a nice big pavilion. Got free squirrels. And a little playground up here. And like I said up here is the uh, Frisbee golf course. There's another one of the Frisbee golf things over there whatever you call those. I guess those are holes. Frisbee golf hole. Yeah, apparently this is a squirrel paradise right here. <laughs> There's all kind of squirrels. Squirrels everywhere. One down there. Here goes one. And they don't have everything fenced off and everything, so you can kind of take a walk through the woods, which is nice. Get down here with the poison ivy. Walk around. Look for snakes. If there's a snake that eats squirrels, this would be the place to live. And if you like to fish, one good thing about this pond, and I just bring a little ultralight and fish for brim. But one nice thing about this pond is you do have access, shore access around it. You can get down to it. And if you just want to look in the water or you want to fish, you can get here and see it. All, you know, all the way around it has access. It's pretty nice. like it. 
There's two pavilions over there. You can fish out of the pavilions. It's got a handicap ramp going out there to it. Now this uh, one little dock right here, uh, they had it blocked off, but I'm. It's not handicap access, uh, but it's a nice little block, uh, dock. But I don't know why they had it blocked off. But anyway, they do. Pretty. Now uh, this is the back side of the pond. See the sun coming through the trees. It's actually quiet over here. But you can see, you know, people come back here all the time. You see the trail. <coughs> it's nice. Nice and quiet. I don't know if you can see that bass, but I could see him. And he's pretty good size. Looks like he's a couple pounds. Might be pushing three. There's another bass right there coming this way. So I went under my camera here to the bass. There's tons of brim over here. Yeah, I'm going to have to bring my... Oh, and there's another bass. Right there. I hope y'all can see that. Maybe not. There's three right here, right next to me. There goes that one swimming along. That's a little one. Hmm. Gives me an idea. Try to zoom in. Yeah, I think this is where they filmed the Goose and Maverick Beach volleyball scene on Top Gun. Do you guys remember that? I believe that was right here. Pretty sure that was filmed in uh, Dallas, Georgia. Now this walking track on the other side, of course this is all one big track, but uh, over here on this side, uh, you got a little shade. You go through a little section here where there's trees. Yeah, over there I was off the track when I was over there in those trees a while ago. But I'm back on the track. And uh, if you like to look at water, there's several places where you go across and cross some water and you can stop and listen to the water and look for fish like I did a while ago. And then on this side, uh, there's another kind of a building, pavilion type building. And this one I know you can reserve and rent. Uh, I don't know how you do that, but I'm sure it's easy to find out on the county website. But it's a really nice building. You can get indoors, you know, if you come out here in the summer. On the weekend, you got it rented. It's a nice place to go. There's a nicer view of that building. I believe there's restrooms in there. Not 100% sure. More caution snakes. And uh, right here, there's another pond. No boats, no swimming. I don't know if I'd want to swim in there. Of course, when I was a kid, probably would have jumped right in something like that. Then right next to this pond, uh, there's another pond. This is the one you can see from the road. And that's the rest of the walking trail up there on that side. And I don't know how long this the trail is. It's probably a mile. 
right at a mile. So however many times you want to go around it, go for it. But it's a nice little park close to my house. Very convenient. You can see it stays pretty busy. This is a Thursday morning. And there's a good bit of traffic, you know, in and out. So on the weekends, it gets pretty busy. But you got this nice big field. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, things to look at here. And the county, like I said, they do a great job of taking care of this. So, come visit White Oak Park if you live in Paulding County, Georgia. Okay, there's a little informational tour for you from uh, Nichols Retirement Empire. Uh, if you hadn't subscribed, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to try to do some things around Paulding County. Um, you know, review a few parks, Silver Comet Trail, that kind of thing. So, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, share it with other people, uh, watch my education blogs. I'll start doing those back probably next week. Have a good